that um, the, the actions that took place today uh, were in response to British military action abroad. Um, specifically, um, British military presence in Afghanistan, one is assuming. Um, for a lot of viewers watching this tonight, all they will see is British troops going over there trying to make things better. What is it that is so annoying that creates so much anger within a, a section of Muslim society? Uh, firstly, you know, it's not just Afghanistan. Okay. You know, British policy across the Muslim world has been um, appalling. Yeah, and that, that's a, 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 a polite way of saying it. M you know, thousands upon thousands of people have been killed due to, uh, due to this policy. Millions lived uh, under tyrants and, uh, um, uh, and, and dictators who often British you know, British policy backed. So it's across the board. But if we focus on Afghanistan, occupying, bombing uh, uh, a foreign country is hardly something, uh, um, uh, we can hardly argue that we're helping them. Yeah, I, I understand the government's going to spin it that way, but that's not how it's seen amongst the Muslim community. And it's definitely not seen by these people who are carrying out these attacks. So until we uh, uh, be honest with ourselves and say that this policy has to be more ethical, better, and, and we have a debate about it, all we're doing is condemning it, acting tough on on television, the government, you know, going to have this COBRA meeting and say how awful and evil it is, mark my words, and then Muslim organisations are going to come up here and say how bad it is and condemn it, and nothing will change because the government can't admit that it's their policy that's driving the anger, and the Muslim organisations won't admit that they're doing absolutely nothing about their own youth uh, um, taking to this type of action because they won't teach them the democratic way of bringing change in this country. But to be clear, there is absolutely nothing absolutely nothing that justifies this kind of murder in the name of some kind of retribution Explaining for, for, for it, some British uh, Of course, policy. of course not. But you have to explain it to understand it to be mm. able to stop it. And, and there's the problem. The, the problem is that as soon as you start to explain it and the British public need, need to understand, OK, well, here's the problem, then they can try to solve it. As long as we say it's nothing to do with foreign policy and just focus on the condemnation, the, 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 the good speeches, then you're always in this trap because the British pu public are always going to say, well, why did it happen? You're never going to be able to solve a problem if you don't know why it's occurring. I, I want you to be specific about the grievance and specific about what it is some Muslims believe is being, is, is being perpetrated uh, in, in, in an appalling way by the British, whatever their foreign policy is, abroad. Be specific for me. Let us look across the Muslim world, whether it's in Afghanistan and occupation is happening, whether it was the killing of millions of people in Iraq due to a war that Britain participated. Okay, okay, whether, okay. Whether, whether if we go back uh, um, sometime, the, 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 the Palestine issue, you, you, it's not, it didn't happen yesterday. This, this policy of Britain uh, interfering and subjecting millions of Muslims to a you know, really appalling way of life um, has spanned decades. But, but, but as I say, viewers watching this, all, all they will see is British troops dying in Afghanistan in an attempt to make the place a better place. Well, I mean, th th that, 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 are you saying that that is all spin? Uh, absolutely. Uh, it's, all, it's, well, it's not all spin. Perhaps I'm sure some of those soldiers that go there believe that. But do the policy makers honestly believe it? And do the Muslims in particular believe it? No. Millions and millions of people are suffering because of the, the, the people that they've got to live under, often backed by Britain and other Western countries, and uh, directly suffering because of the occupations and wars that are being perpetrated within the Muslim world. And the Muslim world, uh, on the whole, is, is going through a radical uh, radicalization process. When you live in an extreme situation, an extreme response will occur because of that situation. And there's the problem. What the, the, the narrative that's out there, often pushed by the government, and hopefully they won't be able to deny it now because the, these bombers have actually said it cl quite clearly why they've done it, right? Uh, is that it's a hate preacher. It's, a, it, it, you know, it's, it's some you know, crazy person who hates freedom. It's nothing to do with that. It's a political problem and only a political solution is going to solve this. Okay, if you just bear with me for two seconds, I'm just going to read out for our viewers um, a statement from Help for Heroes. Um, it had been suggested that uh, the man who died was a serving soldier and he was wearing a Help for Heroes t-shirt when he was murdered. Uh, the statement reads, Help for Heroes is appalled to hear that a man believed to be a serving soldier has been brutally murdered in Woolwich today. We are desperately saddened to hear of this sickening attack and offer our thoughts and prayers to his family colleagues and friends so that that a statement uh, from help for heroes there um the operative word in that uh, um, charity's title is heroes and that is the view 
of the vast majority of people in this country. And I, I don't want to labour this point, but I just want to go back to the suggestion that for many people, British lives are being lost in Afghanistan and had been lost in Iraq in the name of trying to do some good. This is the general argument. You're saying that's the Th There's the problem. Right. You're, you're absolutely right. In the name of something that is simply not true. The people in Afghanistan don't want the British troops there. The people across the Muslim Stop. world do not want the interference uh, uh, um, uh, of, the, of the Western world interfering in their countries. And they have suffered statistically across the board millions of lives have been lost and their lives have been ruined because of the policies uh, of our government and other governments in, in the western world and at some point that anger and frustration is going to boil over and you can see that not just in britain but in america in the uh, in the in the uh, uh, bombings in boston and across the attacks happening right around the world and we've got to somehow grasp the the bull by the horns and say when are we going to have a serious debate about an ethical foreign policy if you were to oppress the any community in the in the whole world, whether it was the black community, they would at some point start to radicalise and some of them would take extreme action. The Muslims are not an aberration in history. They are acting exactly the way other communities have acted before. The only difference is that the government is claiming that it's nothing to do with them and so the British public are in the dark as to why this is happening. They hate the Muslims because they believe it's an irrational response and I'm saying it's an evil response, no doubt about it. It should be condemned, no doubt about it. But it is to be right. expected. Okay. Azgar Bukhari, it's great to have you. And thanks very Pleasure. much for joining us. Thank you.